All right. Took this off, and it's a little bit tough. I'm not trusting that won't be a broken key at some point. It's also a little cracked. Who knows? May even be worse on the underside. And I've got a rebuild kit. One screw and rock washer. Two screws and a rock washer. Alright. We'll get to that in a little bit. Alright. see which one it goes into. There's the hole. Tight fit. There you go. Four springs. Well, I'm willing to bet. Yep, there you go. <laughs> That's ruined, so probably why you should get the entire kit. Alright. There is a little bit in there that I have to push in and push this out. Oh, I need this. Just going in there. What I'm pressing in here is the number six wafer on the lock. You'll see that later. It's the one I have some trouble getting out. Oh, shit. I heard. Who knew? Okay, somehow that worked. Alright, so carefully. Push. Yeah, there they are. Okay. And there's your tumbler. There's also another O ring underneath the chrome. So to get to it, I have to pull the chrome off. That's going to be fun. And I believe there's a couple of little spots here where it's crimped. Here I start working with a small blade on the crimp marks there and then slowly start working my way around progressively getting to a slightly larger screwdriver and eventually using the knife to kind of hold things in place and it finally comes up. Patience is key. There we go. Alright. It's coming off. All right. And all that. So get to this guy. He was cracked. I'm going to try and do a little bit of sanding out of the center there. I don't have a dowel. Um, this right here might kind of do the trick.
Okay. And these little guys, you can see how it goes in there. Hopefully. Okay, so flood it up slowly after you pull the key out. Okay, and I'm gonna go one is closest to this side, and six is that side, except I can't get six out. <laughs> That's not comforting. Careful, there's a little itty bitty screw in here, or spring in here. Alright. Let's see. And this maybe loosens things up. Thank you. Good lord. Alright. And that is why we're taking these out. Six. Next. There's little tiny springs. Alright. That also matching up. For number one, I'm sure here's a good point for me to make a suggestion to don't don't be a weirdo like me, and maybe use little plastic bags. <laughs> this is what I've got. And that part. Make it good and smooth again. Number one. Little spring. Okay, and you can see this little tiny guy. So, take those little guys and clean them up. I'm using 800 grit sandpaper and a little bit of, well, WD-40 might be better. It's, you don't want any moisture in there. But uh, I'm using silicroil. Now, you can start putting them back in, right? So, starting with number one, drop in my spring. And drop in the wafer on the under underside. <clears throat> kind of wiggle this to get the bottom of the disc back into this underside groove. Right. Right. Okay. 
That's number one. And you can see, obviously, the little hook there is what sits on top of the spring. Right. Okay, walking my hand along, walking my hand along, and walking. Oh, got almost all of them. Let's get the key in there. Okay, I think it's most of them. I just have this last bastard that doesn't want to go in. Come on, you. There we go. All right. Got my key back in there. In the tumblers. Tumblers. And the discs are all back in place. And one of the next things you might want to do is get a little bit of graphite in there. So we're going to bring the box back, okay? Let's see what we can get. All right, I got a little silicone. In the few minutes before I realized I wasn't in the camera view, what I'm doing is covering the O-rings in silicone and dropping them back in, one on the top area, and then also rubbing some silicone inside the uh, hole for the lock and on the cylinder itself. Push this little part back in. There we go. All right. So that's back in. Yeah. Okay. Just a little silicone grease. Yep. Got something like that, like this. Okay, and well, I don't know if you can see the hole, and there's the hole, check, that goes in there. There's uh, California models that may not have this, um, and I set that guy on there, alright, and we've got some springs, put some springs back in, these are new ones. There's Nothing better than a new spring than fussing around with an old one that's worn out. And for those guys. <laughs> I couldn't hear you. Hey, look at that. Okay. Sit that guy down for a minute. And yeah, yeah. A little more uh, silicone in there. There's a dab on each one of these. This is where the spring actually sits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, my spring's all good and straight. First in. All right. That's how that happens. And metal plates goes over. Of course, where the check ball is, cover it. Going to put a little bit of silicone 
on these little areas here that's where the uh, latches come in and out yeah. two springs one for each right. so any guy pops in there One. Mm, set that guy down. There's the other one. Drop him in there. And put him right in there. Why are you fussing? There we go. All right, hold that down. I think that's good. Okay. And there's that. Hmm. Got it. Hey, look at that. Much smoother. Of course, last bit is to get this guy back on. Hopefully, this doesn't have any issues for me. Pop them back in and crimp it down. There we go. There we go. Ta-da!